Hey guys, it's Ben and welcome back to Pokemon Gold. In the last part, we uh, nearly died. And we also caught three lovely new members on our team. Two Bellsprouts and a Zubat. And this part, we're going to be leveling up that uh, one of those Bellsprouts. He is seven experience away. So he is not too far. We're just going to be grinding a little bit. A little bit. But we can talk about some lovely stuff that you can see in Violet City. Caterpie. Like, my Vine Whip is going to be nothing on him. And he's also level 4 as well, which is going to completely whip me up a bit. Actually, Vine Whip's not too bad, and if he keeps using String Shot, I can wing it. Maybe. He's probably going to crit me. The one time I get a crit is on the shine. I'm never getting over that, man. I'm never getting over it. <laughs> uh... I feel like this is probably going to be a little bit boring, just waiting for this, so I'm going to speed up. I can't believe it, the Bell Sprout won. I didn't even use any items, he just, just did it. 30 experience, oh jeez. Jeez, that's solid. I'm a little bit half inclined to get him another level at that rate. There we go. 30 more experience, that's enough for another level. That's all I wanted. If, if you would be so kind as to let me indulge in that a little bit because I was like, oh, he's so close to a level and then he just gained so much experience. So anyway, welcome to Violet City, home of the Bell Sprouts outside the, the city. If you head over here, you've got this lovely man here who's like, a Pokemon you get in a trade grows quickly, but if you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. And as a heads up, any Pokemon that's traded with you, they need to be under a certain level. I believe at the beginning of the game, it's uh, 15. Anyway, we can trade, uh, Fartweed away to this guy, where we can now trade! Trade action! <laughs> the trading animation in this game is like, whoa, whoa. Okay, Bellsprout was sent to Kyle. Oh, see ya! For being as Bellsprout. Kyle sends Onyx. Bye bye, Onyx. So, yeah, so we can grab an Onyx. Onyx is quite interesting because he's got an extra evolution added in this game, but you need to be able to trade him with a steel, with a metal coat, sorry. Uh, so, no trading for me. I'm not going to be able to evolve him. Uh, but Onyx has amazing physical defense and he's got some very good moves that he learns through leveling. Uh, only thing, his special attack stat is, sorry, his special defense is not very high, so you be warned, and especially be warned right now, if you try using him on this next area, you're gonna get very, very smashed. Uh, also quad weakness to grass and water, again, next area, you're gonna get smashed. Uh, there we go. Rocky! Now, uh, Onyx is pretty cool though. Because he knows Tackle and Screech. Screech reduces your opponent's defense by two stages, which is actually really, really good. Uh, I believe he's also holding a, uh, uh, Bitter Berry, is it? I think it's Bitter Berry, yeah. Um, this guy just tells you about the gym. We can also go to the Pokemart, where we can buy some lovely, yes, you guessed it, more Pokeballs, because I'm going to need some. I'm going to buy 10. That's a good number. You can also buy Escape Ropes, but you probably don't need one right now. And you can also buy X Defend, X Attack, and X Speed, which are kind of interesting, but you don't need them right now. Like, honestly. Honestly, the strategy is not... You don't need it. Uh, also, you can get some more potions, which I may need. Maybe. I can figure out how to get out the door. Uh, other than that, there's other people who just kind of talk about stuff. I saw a wiggly tree up ahead. If you touch it, it squirms and dances. Alright. Cool. There's not really anything too much. Uh, too much to do. Other than, there's also this uh, little Earl's Pokemon Academy. And actually, we've got a little funny piece of dialogue here. Well, not dialogue. You talk to this guy. Whoa! Hello, you are a trainer. Battle gym leader. When you did? Yeah, I did. Ooh, la la la. What if we tell him no? Well, what if we tell him no instead of hitting yes again? Is that so? Then study, shall you? Follow me! Whoosh! Whoa, jeez. Why can't you move in the game this quick? 
Here, teacher, I am. Good it is. You study here. Whoosh. So in here, you can learn about status effects and all that stuff. Basically, it's the same as the previous game. If you beat the gym leader here, you'll be ready for prime time. Aw, oh, dude, I can make it on television. But, uh, anyway. <laughs> enough about television. Uh, I'm gonna put Rocky... I'm actually gonna take this item, because you don't need it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna not move his moves. I'm gonna switch him with Sprouto. Because... I want him to gain some passive experience. I believe Babat gains experience quicker than Rocky. Oh, sorry, sorry. Rock Rocky requires more experience for a level up, but here's the thing, because he's traded, he actually gets more experience. Now we're gonna head into Sprout Tower, which is probably the ideal place you wanna go to unless you've basically been leveling up one Pokemon right now. Uh, you could probably take on the gym if, you, if you're not using Chikorita. Sprout Tower is a pretty cool place, uh, but it's also home to a lot of Pokemon that you can train on, um, particularly trainers. Uh, now, when you're going through Sprout Tower, you'll basically find someone, and then they'll say, Ah, I'm gonna fight you. Ah. This is Sage Nico! Let's go bowling! <laughs> Sprout Tower is home to Raditas in the wild, or more particular, Raditas in the wild. Gastly's if you're in the wild at night time, and Bell Sprouts in trainers the whole time. Literally every single one of these trainers has Bell Sprouts. And so we're gonna go through about three different trainers, all of which who have Bell Sprouts. All three of them, three Bell Sprouts, and they're all level three as well, which is even better. Now this is gonna take a bit of time. So hopefully. Babat gains some levels quickly. I'm probably going to send Babat out. I'm just going to keep Babat out front uh, for a bit. Just because Rocky is level 5. He's fairly ahead. But the reason why I wouldn't recommend sending out Onyx. If you did grab Onyx. Or a Geodude if you have Geodude. And, and this is this is a bit of a concern. Uh, as much as I like the balancing of this game. And they give you options. They don't really give you anything to train right here. Uh, because Onyx and Geodude don't have very high special defenses, so Vine Whip is going to do a lot more damage to them uh, than before. And on top of that, they're both quad weak to Vine Whip. And all these Bellsprouts, they only know Vine Whip. They're not going to be using anything else. And also, it's got the stab on their end. So, Zubat is an excellent person to be using for this, because as much as it takes forever for him to use Leech Life all the time, at least he's got a quad resistance to grass, which means... And he can keep spamming Leech Life. Problem is, Leech Life only has 15 PP. I'm not going to be able to use it for the entire fight. At all. I'm a, little, I'm a little bit worried because... I just used it 8 times to fight this Bellsprout. I'll eventually get into struggle mode. Once I run out of PP. Also, notice how Rocky gained more experience. That's just because he was traded. I'm gonna fight this Bellsprout purely with, a uh, Zubat. I don't- Oh, because I've gotten the level up, I might be doing uh, more damage. Keyword is might. I've definitely- I can definitely withstand the attacks, but... Oh. Uh, this is engrossing gameplay right here. So while we're, while we're doing this, let's talk about something kind of interesting about this game. Uh, also, I didn't mention Ghastly as the wild Pokemon, so I may as well say hi to Ghastly. Ghastly evolves into Haunter at level 25, and then you have to trade him for Gengar. Uh, he's Ghost Poison, which is very interesting for this early in the game, because I think in first gen you couldn't get him until pretty much Lavender, so after the third gym. Uh, but you can find him here and uh, Tin Tower at night, so really you can't find him anywhere else. Uh, he's got very good special attack and speed, and... The fact that you can get him earlier is very nice as well, if you can trade. If you can't, Haunter's alright. I wouldn't quite recommend him at an end game level, but for now, that's a very strong choice. Only thing, your defensive stats are a little bit on the weekend, and thank you for the crit, because otherwise I would have needed to use uh, Struggle like three times. I wouldn't quite need to, I wouldn't quite appreciate that. Yeah, Leech Life.
Oh boy, here comes the struggle. How much damage is that going to do on me? One. Alright. I might be able to take out the, um, thing. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave Bellsprout. I'm going to leave Babat in this. And I'm just going to show you how much damage it does to Rocky. And Rocky is level 5. So keep that in mind. But it's also weak to Vine Whip and all that stuff. That wasn't even a crit. This is why I can't send him out. I can't use Babat because not enough health. So unfortunately, Sprouto's gonna... Sprouto? Why did I send Sprouto out? I'm just giving even less experience to freaking everyone. I was supposed to send out Chicky. They've got the same little picture there. I'm sorry. I can't... I can't handle it. Uh, so yeah. Ghastly, he's alright. So yeah, so if you're still training your starter, you could basically... If you purely level up your starter and you chose Cyndaquil, you could probably hit an evolution. Like, before the first gym. Hey, Babat gained enough, so that's fine. And Chicky's got nowhere near enough. Anyway, so that's good. Uh, I will be right back because I need the PP. Alright, now it's just still going on. If we keep going on, we can find a parlor's heal here, which is not really going to be useful. But, hey, hold on to them. Uh, your inventory, by the way, uh, like before, it can only hold 20, um... Ooh, I'll gratitude to honor Pokemon. Honor! Uh, your inventory can hold 20 items, like before, but key items, balls, and uh, TMs are now separate. And you can hold an infinite amount of them, because there's only really so many in the game anyway. Um, we sent out uh, Rocky at the start just because I want him to get some experience. And yeah, another 3 level 3 Bellsprout deal. It'll be quicker. Babat's level 5. He's gotta do more damage now, right? Right? He has to be doing more damage, right? Actually, he has more. That, that's one more damage, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, the good thing is now you don't have key items occupying your inventory space, which means you're probably going to be holding on to more kinds of items, which is nice. Be but because the inventory size is still 20, you have to still watch out that um, you don't uh, run out throughout the game. So I will be depositing items every so often, just so that I'm not 100% full. Uh, things like things like your Paralyzed Heals and your Bitter Berries, you don't need that stuff right now. The you're not going to be facing anything like that, and probably not even your Poison Cure Berries or your Antidotes. I'd say just stick to health items right now. Alright, so the good thing is now we can fight this guy in, please be five, please be five leech lives. Dang, it's six. But that's okay, I'm cool doing a struggle at the end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's talk about some other cool things about this game. You may have noticed that Pokemon have genders. Yes, you can apply genders onto your Pokemon. Nah, but uh... That will be... We'll get into that a little bit later. Not a little bit. More, a few parts later. We have to get up to a certain point in the game in order for it to really be more pronounced. But, uh... Just notice that there are genders now in the game. Um... The other thing you may notice as well is that... Uh... Oh, crap. What did I notice? I had two things in mind and I was like, Oh, I'm gonna go with the, uh... With the gender thing. Oh, the other thing I want to say is, uh, yeah, here's, I remembered it. The, uh, sprites of some of the trainers are a little different between the Japanese version and the, uh, English version. Both, both America and Europe got the same version of the game, so, according to emulators, at least. Uh, so that's alright, but, uh, the reason why I'm bringing it up now is because the sages actually have a different sprite where they've got their hands together, like they're praying. And, that, and then they just change it so their arms are folded. Here are some other ones. I'll just pop them on the side. Uh, it's just kind of interesting. There's little little differences like that. Just, just for trivia, I guess. You know, it might be kind of interesting just to know. Now you know. Now you know what what the sage praying looks like. And yeah, uh, but. 
maybe not quite as interesting. Some of the Pokemon have uh, different sprites between the Japanese and the English releases. They're only really for more highlighting the Pokemon's forms rather than like clearing up things. Apart from the classic uh, Jinx and uh, Jinx with the anime and Jinx with the uh, I don't know, people had an offense with one episode of the sh Pokemon show where Jinxes were portrayed as, not portrayed, but were interpreted as being blackface and just being slaves to Santa, which was a little weird because they're Jinxes and they're not... I don't know. You can interpret it like that. And I guess if it comes across so much like that, sure. So they made Jinx purple uh, in the English versions, and I believe he's... Jinx is still black in the uh, Japanese version. Uh, by the way, isn't it a little weird that in the re-release, in the Virtual Console re-release of Pokemon uh, Blue and Red, they changed the Jinx sprite as well? Like, man, you could just say color palette reasons why you're not showing him as purple. But it's great, because this game's on the Game Boy Color, which means you've got much more processor to work with, I, processor capabilities. To be honest, I have no clue what makes one processor better than another if the clock speeds are about the same. Cache, maybe? I have no idea. What? What? That's full! That's full! Come on, man! Come on! Oh! 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 Howdy! It's me, Wade! Isn't it nice out? My Caterpie's looking awesome! I wish I could show you! Oh yeah, I managed to beat a tough Metapod! Dude! That's like, word for word, the other trainer. You kidding me? Zubat should be freaking level whatever by now. One experience. Yeah. So Rocky is definitely leveling up faster, so I, w I will be pacing it out and making Zubat do full fights. Anyway, more healing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, I actually found an encounter. Oh, wow, it's rats, uh... Rocky's not going to get much experience from a level 3 Raditz off. Okay, we're back. Almost. Wait for it. And now we're back. Now don't worry, none of these guys actually will give you a phone number. I, I will be I will be pointing out everyone who's got a phone number. Oh, this Pokeball was a Pokemon the whole time. And it's Raditz off because that's the only Pokemon that you can find in here. A level 5 one is actually quite interesting. I might actually take him out. Alright, I guess you'll miss. Alright, cool. Sweet. Cool story, great thanks. Yeah, tackle spam! It's where it's at! How can you beat this game without just hitting tackle the whole time? Like, come on, man. Freaking. Alright, Rocky is great just because he gains so much experience. And did you see his defense stat? It's crazy. X defend. We don't need that at all. And we've got one last trainer. Sway like leaves in the wind. All right. Uh, this is actually not the last trainer in the place. There are three more trainers, but out of all the freaking level three bell sprout spams, this is the last one at least. The other ones actually actually provide a little bit of a challenge. I'm gonna be sending Babat for the majority of this fight rather than sending Rocky out just because Babat needs some levels quicker, especially with that kind of experience bar. Jeez. It's not very effective. Oh boy. And now I'm mashing the A button for the next five minutes because that's this fight. Uh, so anyway, how are you guys? Good, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Ah. <laughs> nah, but uh... So I want to talk a little bit more reminiscing about when I played this game because I got this game like brand new and I actually, I still have a cartridge but unfortunately because of the time system in the game, the battery of the cartridge for these saves is going to run dry a lot quicker than other Game Boy Color games. So you can, re you can replace the battery but it requires you opening up the game and being able to solder and I'd rather get someone else to do that, I don't trust myself in doing that so... Uh, I would love to just play through Pokemon Gold on the cartridge again. 
but unfortunately, we're stuck with using an emulator, which by the way, I'm having slight issues with the emulator when it comes to time-wise. The, the game clock seems to act up, and I may need to try and figure that one out, but at least right now, uh, it seems to be doing okay. But, I don't know, when I turn off my computer and come back, it's at a different time, so... Uh, Bellsprout? Nope. I'm not changing out this time. We are, we are gaining a whole level this time. Now, I've learned Supersonic, which actually I should have used, because what Supersonic does is that it, uh... It's actually very inaccurate, Supersonic. I think it's only got a 55% accuracy. Uh, which is why I missed, so... It says it didn't affect, but it, it is a miss. It is just a miss. Can I get him? Sweet. Now, the beauty of Supersonic is that it confuses your opponent, which means there's a 50% chance that they hit themselves with a typeless, physical, 40 damage move. Which means it's way better than any attack I'm gonna do. Now, it only hits half the time, but it is enough to basically speed up this battle sometimes. It also means I don't have to use Leech Life the whole time. Like, that is excellent. That, I can just do that and be done way quicker than before. Uh... He's about to use Bellsprout. Oh no! Who would have seen that coming? Bellsprout. <laughs> now, yeah, Super Sonic doesn't hit a lot of the time, so... But it may be nice to drop one during the uh, gym fight later on. Now, here's my biggest concern. I really hope I am at a decent level for the gym fight, because... Uh, in quote-unquote failed recording, which, by the way, I, don't, I didn't go on further than the gym, so... I don't have much to say about that failed recording, but, uh... We'll call it a failed recording, but, uh... Eh. Uh... In that one, my Onyx and my Zubat both got to level 10. And that was so borderline, like, I was so stuffed on that fight. But, uh... Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting past that Bell Sprout. Woo! Oh, crit, nice. Hit yourself, Bell Sprout. Oh, he's not confused anymore. Well, it, I think it'll be quicker to use Vine Whip and then try to land a, a Supersonic. Plus, I got enough PP. Oh, sweet. I was expecting that to take two hits, but one is great. And now Babat is level 7, which means he doesn't get anything, because... While there are more moves in this game, you, just, you don't quite get them, like, as fast as newer games. But anyway... With that, I'm going to end the part off here, uh, because I feel like this is a good point to stop, and we've got we've got a nice longer part next next time. Don't worry. Anyway, see you kids. Then bye bye.